Hold up, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't teach that bitch my language like Rosetta. What's going on, gang? It's your girl Zogan One K. I'm back with another lip banger, man. As you see by the title, by this video, I'm about to get my girl scalp correct. That's what we about to do today, man. We about to give her a retwist. Good ass retwist and two strand twist style. That's what we are doing today, man. So yeah, of course you're supposed to start off with the washing of the hair, making sure that you got a clean, good, healthy scalp before you start always know clean hair is the best hair to deal with so now i'm about to show y'all a couple things that i will be using today i use the lock and twist gel by ors they're very good to use i mix a little black castor oil in there i use this spray damn i'm going so fast to spray it at the end i might use this but I really don't use that too often. I like that lock and gel. That is perfect. Like, that's the perfect shit ever. So, yeah, you also go have to use like a twisting comb, any type of comb, rat tail comb. It really doesn't matter what you use. Just make sure to get your parts correct, the hair in the order where it's supposed to be at. So, all I'm doing right now is mixing up my lock and gel and my black castor oil. I'm about to prepare to oil the scalp. I love to oil the scalp before I start the twist just simply because it gives it a more cleaner effect and you always, I mean always, should grease your scalp before twisting. Now I'm going in, damn. <coughs> now I'm going in, combing out the hair. You have to always, I mean always, comb that new growth out. You're not going to have a fresh retwist if you have nappy ass new growth. Always remember that, people. But I'm about to go ahead and speed it up and get right into it. So what we doing right now is picking out which dread we want to start with. I always start right to left simply because I always twist right. To me, the typical dreads are always twist right. I never see any dreads twisted to the left. So if any time I do see dreads twisted to the left, that's when I start from left to right. Then you begin twisting, twisting to the direction that it's supposed to be twisted to. You get your clamp and then you clamp it down after you get done twisting it. It's always important to make sure you have a clean part. Always separate the hair to which parts it's supposed to go to. That's the purpose of the comb, people. You wanna always have a clean scalp, a nice scalp where you can see every last part you feel. Like I stated in the beginning of the video, my client today is getting the two strand twist style. So I'm on the second dread, twisting it up now, making sure we got clean parts and etc. And about to prepare to create my two strand twist. Now at this moment, all I'm doing is twisting the two dreads together, creating that two strand twist. I'll show y'all how I really do, how I do when I do it, how I do it. Where we get a better view at a better angle. But yeah, once you get down at the bottom, you simply just flip, tuck, and goddamn secure. You feel me? It's very critical that you have those ends looking uniform because you can have this nice ass retwist, nice ass two strand twist, and your ends just look horrible. Like, I love for my ends to look uniform. All my clients tell me they love how I do my ends. I think 
that is my signature way out my ends you feel me but yeah so basically we just going to keep repeating the same method over and over again just going through and twisting twisting making sure we have some clean straight parts making sure all the excess hairs is in the right dreads and then <laughs> you know just get into it man Now that my angles are together, I'm showing you guys how I create my two-strand twist. The only thing I can really tell y'all, honestly, if the dreads are supposed to be twist to the right, always make your two-strand to the left. If your dreads are retwist to the left, you always create your two-strand to the right. That's basically what I'm doing right now. Her dreads were twisted to the right, so I had to create that two-strand to the left just so it can lock together and stay and create this nice little rope.
another important thing is do not be out here gripping all these folk edges. Like, if these folk don't want their edges gripped, and if you know they get haircut, don't be out here gripping them edges. Like, what it looks like that that what it supposed to look like yeah feel me. look at them ends ends are to die for they are uniform look at them parts yes sir so i hope i was able to teach y'all a little some some on how i do what i do when i do it you feel me go ahead and subscribe to my channel like this video drop down in the comments what you want to see next your girl about to get consistent and i'm gonna just say that for the last time over a billion times that i done said that man but you already know it going on because get it so gay when gay i